And unlike me too No roof on my top And my babe see through Hating on the pen don't stop They ain't gon' feed you I been all on my grind So why I need you Baby girl love my bob And unlike me too No roof on my top And my babe see through Hating on the pen don't stop They ain't gon' feed you I been all on my grind So why I need you Big flex, my swole, double cup and I'm... Hello you guys, it is Tuesday when I'm uh, filming this. I've just come from the gym, I've had a solid three days at the gym. Today's workout wasn't that brutal, but it was it was burpees and who, who in their right mind likes burpees? Yesterday's was plate pushes. <laughs> I don't know if anyone cares about this kind of stuff, but I, I usually care when people talk about their workouts and stuff. But um, plate pushes, which I just, like I feel, I feel upper body strength, I'm your girl. I can get those milestones pretty quick when it comes to upper body, like I know my strengths. And my strengths, these arms that have always been like looking pretty defined, which I actually used to be conscious of when I was uh, much younger, but not anymore. But they they've got me my bottom half don't got me i don't have anything like my legs done i don't know how people I, I don't know and i feel like it's just been like a leg heavy well just yesterday it's the plate pushes really that just killed me um and the day before is deadlifts and pike push-ups it it's just been a lot i'm feeling a little sore uh but today this hair needs a wash I have, it's been 10 days now since I last washed it. And I usually stick to that average. Like 10 days for me, it's like mm, right on the spot, perfect. Um, and I'm just about to jump into the shower. Today, I remembered to detangle because the last time, I didn't. Has it even been 10 days or more? Now I can't, maybe it might be closer to two weeks. I'm not sure. Um, also, talk about my little treat you guys i um overheard one of my fellow athletes at uh crossfit talking to someone else who was asking about the because he works at the un and so he was at the lady was asking him like oh so tell me about the un shop is it like any good you know the one that you see as you're driving past that un avenue you know the one and he was like yeah it's okay blah 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 and then i just I figure like why not like let me let me just shoot my shot and I asked like so would you know if they have stroop waffles and he was like actually how do you know about stroop waffles but yes yes they do have them <gasps> it is my it is my comfort treat it really is this is like soul food soul snack for me um I used to or we used to my brother and I would get it when we were younger from my uncle who was the one person that we knew would travel a lot and not every time but on occasion maybe like once a year he would bring back a pack of these and we would just be like you know you know how we used to eat the britannia biscuits you know how you'd have to eat round and then start like trying to eat the lettuce because you wanted to just like prolong it that was us with the stroop waffles and since i mean no one's been traveling that often and anyway whenever i travel i don't remember to check at the duty free if they do have stroop waffles and a lot of times they don't because it's i believe a dutch snack it's supposed to be had it's like a waffle with a layer of caramel in between and you're supposed to have it like with morning coffee or your morning tea and you put it on top so that it starts to like kind of soften a little but i don't even have it like that i just usually will have it in the evenings after dinner not every evening because it it is quite sweet and um and but i've got stroop waffles it's, all, it's what i'm trying to say this will last me a long time um but actually it might not <laughs> If my family comes over, things in this house don't last that long when they do come over. But I do feel that they will be nice uh, treats to have, or something to just kind of have on Christmas Day. I love it. We actually had some. I, I bought, this is the second time I've ordered like a bunch of these from my friend. But um, the last time I took them over to my mom's house when we had a picnic and they were finished in seconds. Finished in seconds. Um, 
Right, so hair wash day. I, oh, I, I have to say, I'm feeling very much like I would enjoy a uh, touch up when it comes to my little texturized situation. I can feel the growth and because I'm working out like I work out now like maybe four times a week, four or five, four times a week really, because um, of the sweat, like my growth, my growth, I can feel it, I can feel, I can feel it, um, and so I don't want to feel it, <laughs> I just want freedom and the luxury of just like brush, brush, wash, wash and we're out. Right, so I'm going to jump into the shower, do that, I'm also going to try and film some stuff um, and get it out to a brand. I have an event this evening. I believe Uncover are launching, I think I know what it is, based on the post and based off of what Patricia has told me in the past too. Um, but they're launching, well, we'll see together later. And I'm gonna take you with me. Uh, the event is supposed to start at 3.30 um, and go to six, but I think I might have to leave a little earlier than six. Um, but yeah, it's uh, kind of busy. Uh, kind of sore for me day <laughs> but we keep moving we keep moving I'm just waiting for a certain product to come and I think it might take another 10 minutes but I'm just gonna get started on on what I can when it comes to my hair so let's go figure this baby out okay before we jump into the shower I wanted to talk to you guys about I think I may have told you in another vlog or in my Instagram. Sometimes I forget whether we talked on Instagram or on the vlogs, but I may have told you about the book I was reading, which is The Sex Lives of African Women. I finished it and this was an exceptional book. I would highly recommend for anyone who's watching and actually I was gonna say like, for any women watching, but I think even for men, it would be interesting to see, but mostly, mostly the ladies. Um, I think it's a must read because the amount of freedom, self-awareness, openness that's in this book, it's, it's a bunch of stories from maybe like 30 plus women um, talking about their sex lives. I, I'm so glad, I, I'm so glad to be living in a time where women can have such open conversations about their sexuality, their curiosities, their pain, their trauma, um, and the healing that, that hopefully soon follows. But it's, it was an exceptional read and I would highly recommend it. Although I also have to say that this is a book that seems to have sold out in most stores in Kenya, as far as I know. I would assume that a lot of bookstores would be restocking soon, given the amount of demand there has been uh, for this book. So hopefully you can get your hands on a copy very soon because it is a good read. I even, like afterwards, I realized that I hadn't even signed it. Like I hadn't put my name down. And I was like, I, I better put my name on this book. Um, and it also, if I'm being very honest, it just also made me really proud to be slowly building a library that hopefully my little lady will enjoy one day. I would really, I would really be heartbroken <laughs> if she didn't take to reading. I would be. Like there are not many things that would break my heart that she would do. There really aren't. There really aren't. But if she didn't take up reading, I would be a little gutted. I'm not going to lie. Um, but also, you know, to each their own. If she's not a reader, she's not a reader. But also she has to be a reader. <laughs> Just saying. Um, and if not her, then I better have like other kids who are readers. Somebody's got to read my library because I'm doing my best to build a nice, good library that I'm proud of. The next book I'm picking up is going to be the biggest book I've probably ever read in my entire life. It's over 900 pages and I do not think I've ever read a book this thick. It is... Oh, phone call. Oh, I think it's my product. Hello? All right, wow, that was so quick. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a book that I've heard so much about. It's called Shantaram by Gregory David Roberts. When I posted that I'm reading this, I got so many people, well, maybe not that many, but like an interesting mix of people, some I know, some I don't know, who were like, that was such a good book. Um, 
And actually the reason I picked it up was because at the bookstore, I was at Educate Yourself. This was last year, I believe. Yep, 2020. At the bookstore, the you know, I was chatting up the owner and he just mentioned, oh, we have the last copy of this book and it's one of, like it's a book I, I've loved so much, blah, blah, blah. And I think even Patricia was with me at the time and she was like, oh yeah, that book. And so I picked it up. And I figured because your girl has met her 2021 reading challenge and I've read more than 21 books, then I might as well jump into like the super thick ones that are a little bit daunting. But in total, I've read 25 books this year. And I'm so excited. Um, and hopefully I'll finish a few more before the end of the year. Well, most definitely I have to finish at least one more um, because we still have our December Chasing Paper Books pick, <laughs> um, which I'm crossing my fingers it'll come in like by today, maybe tomorrow, so I can just start announcing it and hopefully people can get their hands on a copy, including myself. Um, but yeah, I'm now for real gonna jump into the shower. All right, I've now got my stash uh, from Beauty Click. If you don't know, Beauty Click is like an online store that has lots of beauty products, so makeup, skincare, and hair care. And I just restocked on some of my faves, like the Miracle Milk, which I mean, we obsessed over in this house. Um, oh, I think this is the coconut souffle. Yes, which by the way, I believe is 20% off um, on their website at the moment. We've got, um, this must be moisture fusion shampoo. And last but not least, this bad boy, the Miracle Length, which I will tell you about a little bit later today. Maybe after I've washed my hair, I'll tell you about it. But it is something actually I've talked about here before. And because of the fact that it's got 5% stomoxidine, it's also got castor oil. There's castor oil in here too. It's really good for hair growth. Where does it say castor oil? There we go. Castor oil. Yeah, castor oil and 5% uh, stomoxidine, which is great if you want to try and stimulate hair growth. Uh, but I'll tell you about it once I wash my hair. But I just wanted to share my little... Uh, loot, Mizani loot from Beauty Click. Literally, this is, oh, maybe except for, yeah, no, no, I definitely need a treatment, but it's, it's pretty much what I need when I'm uh, doing my hair. So treatment and conditioner are the only other things that I will add, but I've got those in my shower. So off to wash this hair. Are we focused? I think so. Alrighty, hair is washed. It didn't take as long as I thought it would but it still took longer than it did the first time I had it texturized. But this time I was smart because I detangled it before I went into the shower. I've decided I'm gonna try and blow dry it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I haven't done that in a minute and I want to try something different. So I'm going back to this. I'm gonna link it down below where I got it because I can't remember who sent it to me, but I'll link it down in case you're interested. But it's just one of those brushes blow dry brushes. All right, let's figure out what to do with this hair. Oh, I put two of my go-to products that I use all the time. First is this, the Miracle Milk. I mean, I think we should use it because, you know, it's a good leave-in, but also we should use it because it smells so good. It smells so good. And then I went in with this, which is the Miracle Length, because to be honest, I, it's, it's been uh, maybe three days since I put any of that on my hair, so I figured now that it's freshly cleaned, and that's actually when you should ideally use it on your scalp, um, when your hair is freshly washed. Um, and if you don't know, Miracle Length, and I'm gonna just go back to it, <clears throat> but this bad, bad boy is ideal for anyone who's got um, hairline issues, so whether it's through pregnancy or maybe uh, you had some braids that were a little too tight or corners that were a little too tight and so there was some like traction um, tension there, then this is what you want to add to your hair care regimen. It's um, the Mizani Miracle Length. It's something that you use, ideally it should be I think every day, but even if you did like three times a week, I bet it's pretty good still, but you just have to be consistent over a period of three months before you start to see results. But it only works if you still have actual follicles under there, under your scalp. So if you, like if you're balding, for instance, this may not be the solution for you. Um, but if 
it's something that you just need your hair to get a little bit of like you know help when it comes to growing back and just getting your hairline back in check, then this is good. But I don't just use it on my hairline, to be clear. I use it all over my scalp, but concentrated on the hairline. I'll leave a link down below where you can grab yourself one of the bottles should you be curious or interested, or maybe you wanna gift a friend. I don't know if that's something that a friend would be like, you know, take offense, but I don't think so. Not if you're like good girlfriends, you know what I mean? Like it shouldn't be like a, what are you trying to say about my edges <laughs> kind of thing um but also leave a link down below i've been using it for over a year and i i distinctly remember seeing a difference because as much in as much as i've really tried to be gentle with my hair and especially in the last like i want to say three four five years um i do feel like there are moments where perhaps braids were a little too tight or the products I, I used were a little too heavy like my I gelled it down or I held it back uh, too tight for too long and I think ultimately those are the things that have an impact and ideally like wouldn't it be nice if you just let your hair down like this and there would be no tension but also it just means that it it would it would rub against your outfit it would be flying all over the place and getting tangled and then detangling would be an issue so that's a good product to have close by because you just you just want to give your hairline or your hair <laughs> as much support as possible and i would highly recommend it again i'll link it down below for you guys in case you want to try it out i'm not going to just get to blow drying city of mine how i love how i love the city of mine it never gets me down city of mine how i love how i love the city of mine it never gets me in the city i was raised on its edges my pop work is life when it's confines if i'm loving its center if i could live here forever think it'd be for the better i love the weather even though it's fog 24 7 i love the people this is city i met all my best friends and i want to thank every break i want to thank every entrance to every building that i step in in this city of mine oh you most my best moments in life see i fell in love for the first time in golden gate park i saw my first rap okay and we're done my outfit really quickly <laughs> my top is from petal and pup my jeans are elsie waikiki my hoops i don't remember lipstick is nancy moi shop new level i always say nancy moi which i think we all know what i mean when i say nancy moi uh watch is citizen and i think that's it for outfits shoes are probably going to be converse or adidas ah <sighs> God, it feels so good. I've put out the content I needed to put out. It is actually, it's not paid for here, but I always just feel like I might as well give you like a hint of what's happening in case you don't follow me on Instagram and won't know that there's a special deal happening. If you want to shop from uh, Dubai, then Malahide is your person and is, is, your, is your plug. And the stores that I've just discovered I think I'm actually just gonna bite the bullet and get a couple of those items in like ooh, okay Mr. Bite guy um, but like the cutlery oh I'm definitely getting those gold ones I think I'm also gonna get the bedside uh, lamp because it's just it's gonna I think it's gonna go perfectly in this room maybe too perfectly I might show you later um, and then there were some dresses, there was some workout gear from like Adidas and Nike that I was like, oh, don't want to do it, don't want to do it. I don't know. But right now, I have to rush uh, for this event, which I think I'll now be 15 minutes late for, which I feel like these things never actually start on time. I'm the one who insists on, if you tell me 3.30, I'm going to be there at 3.30. But I didn't feel the pressure too much because I'm, I'm always the first one to arrive. <laughs> to arrive, and I feel like 15 minutes late isn't the end of the world. My room... And it's messy state we're gonna deal with that later um but for now let's get going
American hall. I used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge to goof off and spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want. Keep drove us down to Ice Place while we roll up a blunt. And me and Jack would get stony, walk around and get lost. Don't think I'll ever truly pay back all I was lucky to get just by walking through the city. No, I'm a small part of this. I never really had a place to call my own So I travel and I roam till I find that But I'm full of adventure so I wander and I venture And it's safe to say that really I don't mind that I book a flight to try to figure where my mind's at A spot where I don't spend no money just some time at I mix and mingle with the people till I learn a little I brought some weed and baby maybe we could burn a little She said you're funny, I said no I'm David and I left Sun shining, birds chirping, let me take a breath I'm headed to the city where my chance Good morning, you guys. I just wanted to show you my hair. What I did um, when I went to bed was I just held it back and then twisted it like this into a little bun and then put my hair tie pretty loosely on it. Um, and this is what, what it looks like day two. Oh gosh, I do have I do have the growth coming through and I think I will make that appointment in December for sure. Um, but I wanted to show you um, and maybe even talk a little bit about the event yesterday because there was lots of music and so I couldn't really, I wouldn't have been able to include the voiceover um, or not the voice but like the actual talking. Gosh, I'm really, I'm not 100% here. Like my mind is split into a, in a, diff in a million different ways. Um, what am I trying to say? Let me actually focus. What am I trying to say? Right, so yesterday's event, there was music playing, so I couldn't actually, you couldn't hear what Patricia was saying. But what Uncover was launching, and we all had um, like a little, it's a bouquet. Usually when you're leaving with little PR boxes, it's usually like a box, but I love that there's flowers in here, and there's actual eucalyptus. <gasps> and what is this? Is this rosemary? Oh my god, it is rosemary, right? I don't know my herbs, not gonna lie, I don't know my herbs, so I'm not sure if it's rosemary or not. But I wanted to show you the product that they launched. I love that they've got the endo stickers, like this. Where do I place it? I don't know where I wanna put that sticker. I'm not sure if I wanna put stickers on my laptop anymore. Um, right, and what is this? This must be candy, right? It looks like candy. Um, oh, should I? I should put this in my shower, right? I think I'm gonna do that. Also, I'm just looking at my skin on there and it looks a little red, my face especially. I don't even have any makeup on, I've just done my skincare, but I don't know if it's the settings. Yeah, let me see if I should change up the settings. Oh, oh, I think that's much better. This is definitely more true to color. <laughs> My settings must have changed at some point yesterday, but uh, yes, we're, we're good, we're good. This, we've agreed, is going into my shower and I'm just gonna be one of those fancy people who has like these beautiful herbal, like eucalyptus, I think that is rosemary scents coming through as I take my shower. Um, but for now, let me show you what they launched. So if you don't know, Uncover already have some of their own products. I know they also sell other products, like the Newly range. Um, I think they're the, I don't know if they're the only ones that offer it, but I, I it's only with Uncover that I've seen Newly. And I really love the Newly uh, moisturizer. What else do I love? Oh, there's two moisturizers I've tried, but the first one I had, I think, was my Ooh, favorite one. What else do I have? I've got a serum, but I can't remember what serum. Niacinamide, I think. I believe it's a niacinamide serum. Um, anyway, they've got a few other ranges that are outside of their own brand, but in their own brand category, they've got uh, face masks, which we've all seen by now. I'm pretty certain everyone's tried uh, an Uncover's face mask, at, face mask at this point. But the next product they've launched are these pimple patches, which 
honestly, I've never tried one. Um, but from what even Patricia kind of mentioned to me, it's something that one, you can either put before you get to bed, before you, no, before you go to bed so that it's, you know, working its magic at night. But two, you could possibly have it on during the day under your makeup. Um, and so you just place it on your pimple and, and I think, in fact, what I'll do is I'll leave a link down below to uncover because I know they've got a video breaking down how it works and that would be so much easier than me trying to explain it. But there are these, oh my God, actually we're seeing them together for the first time. And now that I'm looking at the screen, you can't see anything, can you? Oh, there, there, you can see that, right? You can see that, um, these clear patches different sizes too so this is much smaller than what's on this end um and you just place it on your spot it says why your pimples need this product it shrinks pimples faster prevents touching and scarring you don't want to pick at that absorbs the pus from pimples protects pimples from outside irritants which is why i feel like even during the day like and especially if you're if you're you have to wear makeup like this would be a really good thing to have i wish i i don't currently have any pimples i don't think i do i might have i don't want to touch my face because i haven't washed my hands but i don't have any pimples at the moment but you best believe what i do have i'm gonna try these out um with you i'm gonna try it out at night and also um during the day just to see how it wears under makeup. That's what I'm most curious about. But they're 18 transparent uh, patches. I'm gonna link this down below so you can get more details around price and where to get them and all of that from Uncover's um, page. Right, so I went to the event. I had to leave a little bit earlier than when it was scheduled to end and came home and just started to unwind um, and then what i want to do now which i've been wanting to do for a while but it's one of those things that i wonder i don't know if there's people who are as interested or excited about it as i am and frankly i'm just i was just worried like what if i like bore some of you to death and there's a likelihood a good chance that it might bore some of you to death and that's okay it's fine you can sign off at this point if you're like that's all i came for i'm good girl but if there are people who love books as much as I do. I wanted to show you guys some of the books that I've been buying over the last month or two. So I think I've got just about, just under 20, and I want to just go through them and give you an idea of what kind of reading I'm gonna be doing, especially in the new year, um, given that I've mostly finished, for the most part, I finished the reading that I'm gonna do this year, especially since I've got that book that I showed you, which is just a mammoth of a book to get through. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And also, I will also add this. You might not be a reader, but it is the season for gifting, and you might have a friend who loves reading. So maybe one of the books I highlight might sound interesting to you, who knows? So maybe just stick along and let's talk about books, because I love books so much! <laughs> And my dream, my dream, you guys, I just want like floor to ceiling books, like walls, like maybe not four walls, but three walls covered with books. Oh, that would be so good. Like future home, library, 100% goals. All right, I'm gonna position you somewhere and I'll just go through the books. Okay, first of all, it is a hot day and I've had to close the windows because there's noise if I don't do that. So if, if I turn into a bit of a disco ball or light bulb because I'm just sweating a little too much, then pardon me. But I thought I would preface this part by just saying, by explaining to you how I select which books to buy. First things first is if I walk into a bookstore and I see sale or the words discount, I'm gonna gravitate towards that pile of books, okay? And sometimes it means I buy things that I'm not particularly excited about, but when a book is only 300 bob or 400 bob max, I don't mind so much. And then the other thing that kind of helps me when selecting books, because I'm not the kind of person who reads the synopsis, so I will not read the back of the book because I don't want any spoilers. I don't want to hear Jane breaks up with, no, you've already spoilt it. Jane broke up. I now know Jane is going to break up with Mr. X or Mrs. X and I don't want to hear it. So I don't like reading the synopsis, which also then makes finding books really difficult because then how do I know what's a good book? 
well, I'll tell you. First thing I did was discover and start to follow some like bookstagram accounts. I don't know what world I was living in, but I didn't know that there were Instagram accounts dedicated to just people who love reading books. And now my explore page is dotted with like, you know, all these books that are sprawled and like really pretty um, libraries and, and all that. So what usually guides me is if I see someone's picture and say they had five books and of those five books, one of them was A New Earth or Homegoing or The Girl with a Louding Voice or a book that I read and loved, then I'm more likely to pay attention because I'm like, okay, so we have the same tastes. I don't really like fantasy. I'm not particularly drawn to YA, although I do have some YA books that I've really enjoyed, young young adult that is, like, um, oh, now I can't remember, I won't remember them now, I can't remember the name of that book, but it was like, Elena, someone is totally fine, but I love one that has like an African theme, or like a strong African female lead, romance, uh, thrillers, and just like fiction, sometimes non-fiction, but mostly fiction. So what I did over the last year, because I did go on a book buying ban about mid this year, and I told myself I'm not going to buy any books because I wanted to focus on reading books. And I think actually that really shifted things for me because I was an avid re reader when I was younger and then life happened, I forgot about reading and then also I started this thing where I would buy books that were cool but I didn't necessarily want to read so books that felt very current and, and like forward and that's what people should be reading about like the racial tensions in America and, and, and not just be like, uh, I don't want to read this, it's too heavy, it's too hard, I don't want it. Um, and so that affected my reading because I wasn't picking up books that I wanted to read and then I started trying to get that reading culture back in my life and what helped last year because that's i think that's when i really was like all right i want to get back into this seriously and i gave myself a challenge i wanted to read 20 books in 2020 and last year we also started our book club with patricia that is chasing paper books because we both love books we both love buying books and we enjoy reading them um and so those two things helped helped get me back into the spirit of reading. I did reach 20 books last year, but this year I kind of found myself just, like it was just a number I was going for and I was, like I needed to hit 21 books because that was my goal. 21 books in 2021, so original. But that was my goal, I wanted to hit it. But I, what I really deeply wanted was to just like jumpstart that passion for books and for reading that I know was in me, but life got ahead of me and I would just, instead of reading a book, I'd be watching TV, which is fine too, but I didn't want that. I want to read books because I love, I love reading books. And I decided, let me try, stop buying books because I also realized that my love for buying books overtook my love for reading, which is fine, which is fine. Totally support that. I understand that. In fact, there's a word for it. It's called sundoku with an N. I don't know if that's how you'd pronounce it, but it's like Sudoku, what we, you know, the number is one, but with an N, Sundoku. Um, and it's just the love for being surrounded by books. So whether you like to read or not, you want to be surrounded by books. And I, I learned about that from uh, the owner at Educate Yourself, and I just, oh, I loved that concept. Um, so, but I wanted to read too. I didn't want to just buy them, I wanted to read. So I told myself, all right, stop. I'm not gonna buy any books until I feel like I've made a dent through the books that I was buying. And I don't know what it is, but something about that, I think then focused my attention on just reading and not just the excitement of like, I've read one book, I can buy two. Cause I, I was telling myself that for every book I read, I can buy two. And so I was getting through them to buy more books, but because I didn't get to buy, I then was just focused on like reading for the sake of reading. And I'm so grateful because now I've like, I've, Past my goal, I told you guys yesterday, I've passed my goal of reading 21 books. I'm, I think, at 25. And I feel like I'm in, I'm in just this, like, good momentum where I'm reading for the sake of reading and I love it and I'm falling in love with characters and it's breaking my heart when they're not there anymore. Anyway, I'm talking your ear off. All of this was just to give you an understanding of how I go about my book buying process or selecting which books I want to read. I also recently started a Goodreads account. I will leave a link in the description box, but you can also try search my name, which is just Sharon Mundia. Um, but I'll leave a link in case you want to follow me. I've also realized that's also a really great place to discover new books that might seem interesting. With all that out of the way, I'm not going to talk you through 
the books that I've been buying recently. I want to start with three that I got from Textbook Center when there was a sale. And so these were 400 bob. They're the ones that I was telling you I bought because they're on sale and I figured at some point maybe I'll read them. I don't think I'm gonna rate them high, but who knows, who knows? The first is, it started with a tweet. And for whatever reason, I've been gravitating more to romance novels or just being more open to them. It's not, it wouldn't usually be my go-to. I'm more like a thriller, crime, or drama girl, but uh, okay. Cool, started with the tweet. It's by Anna Bell. Could you survive a digital detox? And I think because I was in the stage where I, was, I just finished digital minimalism that just caught my attention because I really truly will not be reading the synopsis because I just don't want to read it for myself. If anything I pick up or point out sounds interesting, just Google it and I'm sure you'll get all the details you want or need. Oh, the next is not really a book, but uh, one of these. Like it's a, uh, what is it? Board chat challenge book. So there's quizzes, puzzles, games. Oh, this is my jam. This is 250 shillings. And I think it's the kind of thing that you want to keep close if you're traveling. The other one that I got on sale is this. Bone Meals for Roses. I think what I also remember noting was that they had many copies of this. And I figured if they have many copies, maybe it's because it's interesting. I also was really drawn to the cover. I just thought it looked really pretty. It's by Miranda Sherry. I'm going to read you just this part in black, which... I, ge I genuinely had not read it and would not have read it if it wasn't for this moment right, ne right now. But it says, Her childhood nearly destroyed her. Only the magic of the garden could save her. First of all, that's a spoiler. It's a spoiler. Because now I know her childhood, something tragic is going gonna, is gonna to happen. I don't know how people do this. And since I'm already pointing out books that I got from Textbook Center, let me just continue. I got this Jeffrey Archer series. It's part of a series, Hidden in Plain Sight. And it was because I read another book from Jeffrey Archer, which is part of this series. The one I had was Over My Dead Body. And I hadn't read one of his books in a long time. But when I did read it, I really enjoyed the drama, the thriller, like how we got to catch this bad guy. Loved it. So much so that I, uh, when I saw this, I decided to pick it because it's from the same series. Actually, I'm like, I'm quite partial to uh, Detective William Warwick. Warwick? Warwick? Warwick, right? It's definitely Warwick. Another one that I got that also looked interesting, just like you, Nick Hornby. The quote by Sunday Telegraph says, a charming and sharp love story about what it means to fall for someone who is your polar opposite. I just thought that looked really interesting. This looked, doesn't that look nice? There's this child by Sonia Hartnett, winner of the Guardian Prize. Uh, sometimes you have to dig deep to survive. I think it's just, it's the cover. The cover made me curious about this. One of the other things I do when I'm trying to pick out books or just add them to my massive list that I've got on my notes on my phone um, is I'll go through the different years and look at um, just what Google says were the best books from that year and I guess they look at um, the different places like Goodreads or different bookstores and they just these are the ones that people raved about and I remember seeing Olive again on one of my Google searches and I knew it had to come home with me by Elizabeth Strout a superbly gifted storyteller and a craftswoman in a league of her own. In Olive, again, she teaches us that there is always more to be known about, is, there's always no, more to know about human beings, even the ones we are closest to. Ooh! Also, I do love books that have different colored spines, so it makes me happy that we've got all this color on here. And then the other book that I got from Textbook Center, and this one I only picked it up because they had many copies. I do remember distinctly seeing that they had many copies of this. My theory is if you have many copies of one book, it's because it's popular. Hopefully there's a reason that it's popular. Um, but this is Under the Udala Trees by Chinelo Okparanta, a Nigerian author, and I do love my Africana type books. All right, the rest of the books I'm about to show you are ones that I have been curating and like I, I got them off of my like must be read books and there's some that even out of that list, which I have over a hundred books that I want to buy, um, that I've highlighted some as like, oh, these ones look really juicy. So these are some of the ones that caught my attention. I placed an order with Educate Yourself. Some of them they already had in stock, some I think they're bringing in because there's I, I, I decided to start slow because also buying books can be expensive the first is the guest list by Lucy Foley in the back it says each has a secret each has a motive okay from what I saw this looks like uh, like one of those that will have you gripped like and I love books like those I love books that 
you know when you're you're doing something and you just think oh my god i have to finish quickly because i need to figure out like what happens after this like the ones that you read and you're not even looking at the pages like how many pages you've gone through because it just is so easy and for me i usually find once i hit like 50 pages usually i'm able to like oh easily dive into the book but if i'm struggling past 50 i'm like oh lord i don't this i don't well let's see the, whether we'll power through or just abandon it the other one that i've heard so much about and i've seen a lot especially on bookstagram it is such a fun age by kylie reed long listed the 2020 booker prize things like that actually get my attention clearly clearly it's a love story right such a fun age because i'm just seeing like it's a boy and a girl it must be it must be a romance thing but i saw a lot of this in, on bookstagram and that's why i got it oh did i order this i must have ordered this i don't even i, I don't even remember this is stay with me by ayobami adebayo listen if there's anything i talk about here that you highly rate because you've read please just let me know because that might influence me to pick it up faster i don't remember ordering this but it does say bailey's women's prize for fiction it was shortlisted in 2017 okay small pleasures by claire chambers i have seen this so much on um, instagram on my one of my google searches and also i just i like the idea of small pleasures like i just want anything that just, i don't know what it's about i have no idea and i generally don't i don't want to read the back oh okay now i know it's much it must be a romance because sunday Times says an almost flawlessly written tale of genuine grown-up romantic anguish <laughs> i have so many romance books in here i guess if i'm gonna go with um bookstagram or even goodreads a lot of them i guess would be romance because would they be i'm definitely not into the fantasy world um so i wouldn't even if I saw like books that are highly rated there, I, I wouldn't pick it up. Right, this was long listed for Women's Prize for Fiction in 2021. Ooh, so this is very current, that makes me happy. I have seen so much about Frederick Backman on Instagram and his books. The 13 million copy best-selling author. I've never read any of his books, but the one I'm starting with is Anxious People. Oh, another one that I've seen so much about is A Man Called Ove. Is that, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's how you pronounce O, O-V-E, but I've seen so much about it. I think that's also on my list of like 100 plus books that I want to read. I've got The Course of Love. I was influenced by Patricia to get this book. She's raved about it for the last couple of years. And I think she just particularly has a soft spot for Alain de Botton. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but I'm pretty certain it's French, is it? And it just reminded me of um, another book that she raved about that I loved so much, which was The 40 Rules of Love by Elif Shafak. I loved, I loved that book so much. Um, and I thought I have to pick this up because she speaks highly, not just of the book, but of him. We've got Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Album. I think I've got one of his other books, the one that's really weird. Like, what, what, what is it? Hmm, I was trying to look through my pile of red books. I can't find it, but it's something about heaven the people the five people you meet in heaven i think that could be actually that could be what it's called an old man a young man and life's greatest lesson that sounds interesting we've also got exciting times which it, it, like it's clearly a romance novel because i mean two toothbrushes right right must be must be some oh three oh there's another one Hopefully it's a juicy one. I hope it's a juicy one. But it's another one that I saw a lot about on Goodreads, um, like on, on Google and also on Instagram. The Glass Hotel. This is a horror or like thriller. Maybe I should say thriller. Uh, stopped recording. I don't know if you heard me. But The Glass Hotel by Emily St. John Mandel. George Martin says it's a damn fine novel, haunting and evocative and immersive. Okay. The Midnight Library. This is one of those more... Um, divisive books it's been a little contro well controversial only in the sense that some people have rated it really highly and then others have been like meh i decided i want to make that decision for myself but the midnight M library by, by matt haig i'm not going to read the back because i i really don't want did you see that did you see that i panicked because i i really don't want jesus Yo, it's a bookmark that fell out. I knew it was a lizard. I knew it was a lizard that was just coming into my space. I've also got here The Sellout by Paul Beatty, um, winner of the Man Booker Prize in 2016. That already, that already got my attention. It's an odd cover. I'm not sure I love it, but you know. 
Okay, so Olivia Williams, who's the man, who's one of the man booker judges, says, I was banned from reading in bed because I was laughing so much. I love that! Okay, last but not least, which I don't go for big books like these. Like, big books like these put me off. I'm just like, oh. The one I'm reading now, I'm on page 90, which any other book I'd be reading, that would be like great progress. Like, I've gone quite far um, in just a few days, and it means maybe within a week I'm done or close to being done. I'm not even 10% done with that book because that book is 900 plus pages. But this, it has over 700 pages. But I knew, I knew I had to pick this up. One of the ladies I follow on Instagram, who's a bookstagrammer, what's her name? Livy, I think is her name, rates this so high. So many people have talked about bawling their eyes out while reading this book. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with bawling my eyes out for a book or a movie. It was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize in 2015. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are the books that I've been buying in the last uh, two months. They've just been sitting in a drawer because I really just wanted to get through some of the other books that I already own. I didn't want to abandon them because sometimes you just are so excited about a new read that you abandon the old one. And I feel like I just want to pay everyone the same amount of attention. Well, maybe not everyone. Like some of the ones that I got on discount don't do, like maybe Maybe not everyone but some of the ones that were what I bought because I heard a lot about or I was excited to read but but because I buy these ones I might forget to pick them up to pick those other ones up I just wanted to give them my full attention um, another one that I really want to get into before I even jump into any of these and I guess I'll see but it's where the crowded sings or where the crowded sing I always mistake the the name of that book but that looks really interesting I don't know when I'll read it but Hopefully once I get through the book I'm reading now, whenever that will be. This genuinely, genuinely makes me happier than receiving makeup, than receiving whatever skincare beauty products. Even like happier than a good outfit. I'm not kidding. This is, this is my joy. And that's why I, even though I know it's something that very few people, maybe not that few, you guys will tell me, but not that many people will be excited or like interested in it doesn't matter to me because it really does bring me joy i did think about making this a video of its own like a quick 16 minute video although the way this is going it's it definitely would not have just been 16 but i would have cut it down to be 16 maybe where i just talk about books and i started to get into my head like no one wants will watch it because it's just it's too it's too specific a, a topic and I don't know how many people who come here want to watch that kind of stuff but in the end I decided I'm just gonna include it in one of my other videos because it, it really just does bring me joy and I want this space to not just be about things that hopefully bring you joy but for me to share my little pleasures with you my little moments of oh my heart just it's just it's soaring right now and books are one of the things that truly just help bring out the joy in me all right i am gonna love you and leave you here and i will see you oh my god i'm gonna see you next week and next week we start vlogmas i am a little a little nervous about vlogmas because i don't know how i'm gonna do it i definitely don't think i can vlog every single day and have a video up every single day you know before the 25th of december but i can try my best to get as many videos out and i'm going in with the hope of having videos up Monday to Friday. So will I see you on Tuesday? I don't think so because Wednesday I'll have my first Vlogmas video up. So I may not see you on Tuesday just to give myself a little bit of a break. Otherwise, it's a lot, it's a lot. So I'll see you, I think I'll see you then on the first, for the first day of Vlogmas. I hope you're excited. I hope you've had, um, Oh God, why am I signing out as if it's the end of the year? It's not the end of the year. Girl, I want to see you next Wednesday, okay? So I'll see you next Wednesday. For now, have a great weekend and lots of love and happy reading. Bye. Would like to give a little, then you take the rest. I'm hoping one day maybe I can find a place to rest. I fell in love with life and wonder where it take me next. I like the hustle and bustle. I fell in love with the fashion. I feel the pulse of the city is moving.